am really excited about this one. I absolutely love this piece of art. Why do you love it? The colors, the fun, the the randomness of it, kind of. But yet it has a theme. Um, I took a guitar hero. I love chopping up electric guitars, especially Guitar Heroes. So I bought a Guitar Hero from the secondhand store, chopped it in half, colored it, I have a friend, Joe Seitz, who repairs violins and they have a violin shop, he and his wife Jackie. And my kids took violin, well, Ben took violin from them, and he had this broken violin he could not repair, so he gave me the body of the violin. And there are other pieces in another piece of art. So this is actually a violin front. Um, this was the round piece of wood with a handle. Um, this is the Guitar Hero neck. It's got these things you can push. I don't, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> um, this is a back scratcher. Awesome back scratcher. I've used a lot of back scratchers for art, not for scratching my back. And this little star, I I don't know what it is, but it works awesome. And if you look closely, I don't know if you can tell what he's doing. This little star is... <laughs> I don't know if people will pick up that. He's jamming out to the music. He is jamming out. <laughs> he's even, you know, he's dancing. And this piece right here is something that you would put in your bathroom <laughs> I don't know what it is but it goes in the bathroom I think it's I don't know if it's part of a toilet paper roll holder or something but I've used pieces like I've chopped it here and made a captain's hat out of this part and these are little metal metal I don't, I don't know where they came from. I screwed them out of something. I have no idea what this round piece is, but it looks awesome there. And up here, this is a computer speaker. And I, what does it look like? A radio. Oh, good, because that's what I <laughs> wanted it to look like. Yeah. It's a computer speaker, and I just... Took it apart, put it on its side, and some antenna from... Do speakers have these antennas? Uh, I don't know no. where that antenna came from. And this is from Chinese Checkers game. I just use game pieces. This is an awesome piece. Um, what does it look like? <laughs> uh, it, well, it looks like a piano, obviously. A grand piano. But is it from a holder to hold curtain rods? No, it's a, like it's a shelf. It this holds the ah. shelf up and the shelf goes along here. Yeah, it's awesome. I love I I love it. It's nice when I love my art. <laughs> it's nice. So this frame I really like how I put this frame together, but this frame came from one of those organs I took apart. This is one of the organs my dad took apart. I didn't take this one apart. He took it apart like 40 years ago, over 40 years ago. And he was using the, he was trying to fix it, but there's no way. <laughs> I have looked inside of, of reed organs and you cannot, you can't fix them unless you're a professional. You can't even, <laughs> it's crazy what's inside there. So what I was saying was, these, this panel, it actually 
can be removed. And some are short, like down here, my mess. Oh, down there here. There was a panel like it in here. This right. is now in my there. game yeah, spot. So I took a panel like this, and I took these boards, any boards like this. I took any boards like this. I took them apart, and I used them here. So they actually had a slit in them already, and I just slid my quarter inch plywood in here. I sewed this frame together with wire. So I thought, how am I going to hook all those pieces together? So I just took wire and, and drilled holes and sewed them together. <laughs> And then I had my daughter show me how to draw notes and things because she's really good at. Okay. Books. She does a lot of writing on plaques, handwriting, and she's really good at it. So she just showed me these simple ways of making them. So I thought, oh, okay, I can do that. So it was pretty plain before I added these notes and piano. She, she told me how to, she just said do this with the piano and so anyways she helped me finish this. And I was going along and I was drawing these big huge notes and I drew the big huge notes across here and across here but since this is black I had to use something that will make it show up because black wouldn't show up so I used white and I was drawing these great big huge notes across here and I thought, that looks really bad. And so then I got the idea, just make them small because this is like this giant grand piano, but it's tiny. So I just made them small and it didn't look great. This switch, I, I had to cover all the holes for Guitar Hero, <laughs> put a switch here. And I made this awesome little <coughs> thing. <laughs> it plugs in. It's like the plug. Yeah, well, yeah. It's kind of like that's where it gets its uh, energy source. I have to tell you these these pieces of glass. They're extras from a glass blowing factory that they just cl clipped them off and threw them in a pile. And so a friend of mine brought me some of those. I think they came from Pennsylvania, so they're pretty awesome little, little dudes. I think that's about it. This one doesn't have a name either, so whoever buys it can name it. Ciao! Mm -hmm.